Let's compare now an ester versus an acid chloride. How about an oxygen compared to a chlorine? What effect is that having on the reactivity of the carbonyl? Well, again, we could think about inductive effects. Both the oxygen and the chlorine pull electron density away from the carbon. They're both more electronegative than, than carbon. Oxygen, even more so, because remember, oxygen is the second most electronegative atom in the periodic table. So that's definitely a strong dipole. But let's ju jump right into the resonance effects because that's where the most significant difference is going to lie. So once again, it's always going to be the same picture. We can take one of the lone pairs from our leaving group and share it with the carbonyl to draw a contributing resonance form. It'll always put a positive charge on the leaving group and a negative charge on the carbonyl oxygen. And chlorine can do that too. Take one of its lone pairs and add it into the carbonyl. And then just like we did before, let's look at these two resonance forms and see which of them, uh, see if we can predict which of them is, is having a bigger influence, having a bigger impact on the overall structure, which is the bigger contributor. Now we're looking at an O plus versus a Cl plus, and this is a little more um, looking at apples and oranges because we're not looking at a direct periodic trend here. They don't, the, the oxygen and chlorine are not in the same row, they're not in the same column, okay? But there's something interesting about this chlorine. How often have you seen a chlorine involved in a double bond with carbon? That's a very rare structure and the, uh, structural element, and the reason for that is because the chlorine is so much bigger than the carbon that when it tries to share that pi bond with its, with its large p orbital, it, it can't do so um, effectively. So what we could say is that chlorine is too big for a good pi bond. We could describe it as having poor orbital overlap. We're, we're trying to uh, overlap a 2p orbital with a, I'm sorry, 3p orbital with a 2p orbital and there's not good exchange there. So this pi bond is a very weak bond. That means it's not a very significant contributor to the overall uh, resonance hybrid. So we could also describe that as saying that chlorine doesn't want to share or is not capable of sharing its electrons, its lone pairs. Okay, and so oxygen now compared to chlorine, oxygen is actually better at donating its electron density because it's uh, matched better with the, uh, with the carbon size. The oxygen is better at donating its electron density. So what does that do to the ester carbonyl compared to the acid chloride carbonyl? The ester carbonyl is now the one that is more electron rich because it has more of this electron donation. The ester carbonyl is more electron rich. And so who is the uh, better electrophile in this case? The ester versus the acid chloride? Is being more electron rich a good thing for an electrophile? Just the opposite. That means the ester is a poor electrophile compared to the acid chloride. So both of these combine to tell us that the acid chloride is the better electrophile. Acid chloride is a better electrophile than an ester. Let's take a look at one more comparison. 